Today we're looking at the branding of Thoroughbred thanks to international animal health products. Uh, we were with Tim Pierce today and we watched the process of a horse being branded. Tim, can you just talk us through that? Yes, well it's a process that is basically the, to, to identify the animal so that it can be seen on a, uh, by anyone and verified who it is and that comes down to later in its racing life. There are some criteria that are set by the uh, international racing um, authorities that require certain minimums and in our system in New Zealand we basically identify the animal with a, with a marked drawing, uh, colour, um, white markings, whorls and so on. Uh, we take hair sample which is then sent with that identification paper to verify that it is by the stallion out of the mare that it's claimed to be and part of that process of identification also involves now microchipping which is a, a coded chip that's implanted in the nuchal ligament in the neck um, it has a 13 digit number which is unique to the animal and is related to the database that's held by NZTR um, in their stud book um, and in New Zealand as in Australia we also do a thing called freeze branding and freeze branding is a, is a process where we put a cipher on the left hand side and a number on the right hand side in this country and it has a unique number for that horse and it's very very useful with, uh, for, for management of horses because it basically it gives you a hand, handle on what their age is and gives you a, a heads up you don't need a special scanner you can just see it um, so that's part of that process. Certainly when you're branding them, they're marks that stay with them for life and you want to make a good job, it often bears your name and, and you'd like to think that it's as neat and tidy as possible. So being sure of your facts, getting the correct horse, the correct markings and doing a, a good job is really important because if these animals are, you know, hopefully are going to go on and be group winners and, and we'd like them to be presented as, as professionally as they can be. With the branding of a horse, with breeders out there and studs, is there a time frame that they need to get these horses uh, identified by? New Zealand Racing um, have basically, they, they give till the 31st of July in that first year and we do brand the odd one beyond that but normally most of the branding takes place after the yearling sales, normally from February the big studs would start and you know normally at about the time that they're weaned and we get some of them that, that will straggle on often through into July. At branding time as well it's a good opportunity the vets to take a, a good look at these young thoroughbreds sometimes for the first time. What other things do you look for when you're branding a young thoroughbred? I think that it's a good opportunity to see, to see the general health of the foal. It's also a really really good opportunity to see any obvious things such as limb deformities um, or any of the, the problems that may be able to be corrected at, at times such as you know that perhaps a, a trim or a, you know there may be something that we can do with nutrition that can help those foals be presented later as yearlings and later after that as racehorses in a better light. We generally uh, at that time have an opportunity also to start their vaccination program and some foals are often done prior to that depending on their circumstances but Generally speaking, that's part and parcel of that visit and, and it's a good opportunity to, to start that process off well.